everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to another live stream. And this is the first live stream that we're spending in the patio. <laughs> I just uh, set the stuff up. Speedy Gonzalez this morning. Um, just to make sure everything was working out fine. One thing I forgot to do is... Uh, I needed power out here, so I was like, oh, wow, I forgot my power cord, but we found a little power outlet uh, to set things up. Uh, good morning. Happy, if you're in Canada, happy Canada Day. Some people refer to it as Cannabis Day. Uh, it's July 1st, 2019, and it's a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day. This is our patio. <laughs> Where we spend time uh, in the summertime a lot spring summer uh, early fall we do spend some time here and then sort of use it as a just get fresh air in the winter and stuff okay um, fun uh, definitely having plants and being outside <laughs> of birds we have lots of birds here this is actually I don't know if you can hear it this is like quiet relative to uh, like three hours ago or so two three hours ago on Rati how are you doing good morning good morning hope you're doing well doing fantastic Riot, riot, awesome setup, Chicho. Good morning, thanks, brother. Casey, how's life, man? How are you doing? You're gonna hear, uh, I might try to. Vanessa, how are you? Good morning, good morning. Uh, next time, uh, maybe I'll try to do a live stream a little earlier, uh, like around. 4 4 30 in the morning where you can hear the full sound of the birds just starting out i'll try to i'll try to keep that in mind and do it okay great lasagna good morning how are you doing what a pleasant vibe it's i like it i like it thank you dom vinci how are you doing howdy homie how are you how are you martin chicho in nature uh, natural yeah this is uh, we have a basically what we do uh, usually is uh, at the beginning of spring uh, we start moving the house plants around and stuff like this and bring them outside and then towards mid fall late fall ch -ch -ch, do a shuffle inside and rearrange so there's a shuffle going on with the plants right Starsky, how are you doing? Good afternoon, Chicho. Nice garden and birds. <laughs> and we have cats that come around as well. Cold Hunter, good morning, Chicho. Good morning, chat. He says, Vanessa, one of my favorite sounds. I love the sound. Me too. Me too. It's, it's amazing. Really, it's amazing. Even if it's 3 p.m. for me. 3 p.m. for you. We had uh, some uh, couple of last year, or yeah, I guess it was last year. Uh, we had a couple of falcons that made their home here for a month or a month and a half or so, and then they moved on. I'm not sure why they moved on. It was it was crazy. It was very cool. Morning, Chicho Blueberry. How are you doing? What's the temperature today? Right now, you know what? It's got to be. What's the temperature? That's, that's a good question. Let me check. <laughs> it's comfy. <laughs> it's comfy temperature. Right now, it says it's 13 degrees Celsius. Um, it's supposed to hit 23 degrees Celsius later today. It's, it says it's 13 right now, but it feels warmer for me. Um, it, it feels warmer for me. Aldean Storm. Good morning. Good morning. Still cold in Newcastle. <laughs> Martin is asking uh, Hunter. 
top of the morning to you chicho curious Devin, how are you doing top of the morning to you as well it's somewhat cold today it's 20 23 degrees celsius <laughs> i forgot to tag you on the previous message so. fun gang what you see here by the way on this side is uh, when we moved here a couple of years ago i guess two or three years ago a com comfy 74 fahrenheit in u.s capital here washington dc cool cool yeah very comfortable weather right now right um in regards to this this here this is grapes that when we moved here a couple of years ago two or three years ago anyway the grapes were flowing over the neighbor's yard right and we sort of made it a intentionally sort of try to get the grapes to come up our patio and into here and i built this thing here like when we first second year halfway through the first year we moved in uh built this wall here sort of uh, from stuff that i had shelving and whatnot uh, intentionally to bring the grapes and this year they came up finally and they're reaching out and i want to take the grapes from here and push them along to uh, the gutter line here basically right just for this year just to see how far it'll go uh, and they do give grapes we ate a lot of grapes last couple of years <laughs> so <tired. laughs> 19 degrees celsius it's gonna go up to 35 degrees celsius really in newcastle 35 degrees celsius evaporating <laughs> I lost everything. Void hook. What did you lose? That's unfortunate. You couldn't have lost everything. Nobody loses everything until they they die, I guess. How's everybody doing? I'm from Portugal, not me. Oh, you're Portugal. I miss Portugal when I went to Europe. I didn't make it out to Portugal which I regret sort of, um, I just didn't have time, right? Portugal, economy there was crazy, huge gentrification going on, lost two jobs, oh, void hook, he lost two jobs, maybe it was disruptive animation coming in, why? celsius versus fahrenheit always throws me off yeah one of the jokes uh one of the canadian jokes i'll i'll i'll, I'll, I'll tell you guys a canadian joke okay one of the things that used to happen when i was growing up um, whenever i traveled to the united states back in the 80s and 90s and stuff and I, this happened to a lot of canadians uh, you travel to the united states especially down south and uh, I don't know if it was a joke or if it was what, whatever it was, but people used to say that um, uh, the question you always got asked, or a lot of times you got asked from Americans down south, was Canada must be cold. Canada must be cold. Canada, Canada must be cold. It must be cold, right? Uh, and the joke going around in Canada was the reason Americans think that Canada is so cold is because when they look at a map, when the news is being broadcast weather map because the united states is in fahrenheit and canada is in <laughs> celsius as soon as you cross the border into canada all the temperature were presented in celsius as <laughs> celsius is a lot lower than fahrenheit the absolute numbers right so they used to think all of a sudden when you hit the border in canada it gets really cold that was that was a joke that used to go around in the 80s and 90s when I was uh, growing up. X5 plus 8. Will you be able to at least have one to keep your bills paid, keep you fed? Boy, clocked in too many times late. Oh, 4 to 15 minutes each time. you got to be on time. Even earlier is better, boy. Uh, I couldn't keep up with 96 hours a week it's kind of a my fault I get but 96 hours a week. no man you should be working 96 hours a week great lasagna says bon dia 
my fellow Portuguese speakers. Cool, cool, cool. Deckman. Hi, Chicho. Just curious. You always say we in reference to things in your life. Do you have a spouse or a life partner or some sorts? Hope you don't mind me asking. Uh, no, good question. I've been, I've been asked this before. Uh, the, uh, Deckman. Uh, when I talk, when I say we, uh, it really depends what we're talking about. Like right now, when I say we, it's me and you or me and chat, right? When I say us uh, building this contract together, uh, like I wouldn't be able to do this without the support I get from you guys, from uh, YouTube, from Patreon, for sure, from Patreon and direct donations. From so we, in general, means uh, like we're not solo. I'm not there isn't too much of my life that I've done absolutely by myself like <clears throat> I can't even think of anything that I am fully I guess the, the only thing that I'm fully responsible for that I say I is when I make a mistake when I take responsibility for something because I don't want to distribute that right but when I'm doing things I don't do things solo so whenever I say we you know it's us all of us but to answer you directly um, in your question if I have a life partner or spouse or something yes uh, I do have a partner and this isn't just me it's our space right me and my partner space and uh, we have a lot of plants and uh, some of these plants are mine a lot of these plants are mine a lot of them are my partners as well and we sort of take take care of the plants and I have sort of places they're high up I water so it's a wee it's a wee effort where are you from great lasagna cold hunter morning chicho lonely piggy how are you doing welcome back looks like another sunny day in Canada hey, yeah yeah it's going to get real hot in Montreal too oh I bet I've spent summers in Montreal Montreal man beautiful beautiful city beautiful city I've spent hot summers in Montreal and cold ass winters in Montreal man the temperature fluctuation and the cold spells you get and the heat spells I don't mind the heat the heat is amazing the cold oh, wow wow beautiful city though highly recommend anybody traveling to Canada go see Montreal spend some time in Montreal amazing food amazing nightlife amazing cafes amazing people uh, it's just amazing all around the jazz festival there is fantastic the comedy festival there is fantastic I was born in Rio really want to visit Portugal someday nice. thanks that is cool is that for real the crows trying to become <laughs> there's a couple of crows and when the crows go like this there's a couple of crows because I've seen crows take down little birds right chase down little birds and eat them up right so crows are hunters they're predators so sometimes the birds either start chirping a lot more or go totally quiet when the crows are around any idea of any basic minimum wage jobs uh, in the chat I'm stressing out Voidhook where are you located are you in the States Canada Europe negative 43 degrees uh, this winter in Montreal really Putin <laughs> I think Voidhook might be just playing with us he's being a he's being a, a nihilist troll maybe are you Void? <laughs> I hope not and if you are you're doing a good job you portray you do it well lonely piggy agreed it can get really cold out here never stops me from enjoying some long walks downtown and in cold Montreal though so pretty always uh, regardless of the temperature yeah pretty always and one of the things I did in uh, the winter in Montreal when it just got either the transition is the is the problem in Montreal when it's really cold it's snowy and whatnot it's okay 
the transitioning from cold to warm you get all the slush and really slippery and stuff uh, when that happens one thing I really liked is in downtown Montreal anyway there's a lot of underground tunnels and shops and stuff so you just go under the buildings in downtown and make your way from one location to another location and just going past food courts and boutiques and coffee shops and stuff so there's a whole underground market city just pumping in the winter anyway I like crows they're a mixture between a pet and a vicious carnivore predator <laughs> yeah seriously I wouldn't want to be a little bird with crows around I'm going to Canada in September unfortunately I'll only stay in Vancouver really excited to oh for sure great lasagna welcome to Canada early welcome to Canada and Montreal and Vancouver, Vancouver they're so far apart like about a five hour flight I forget how many thousand kilometers right so uh, when you visit Canada you can only go in one location really or fly long distances I hope you enjoy Vancouver right? great lasagna it's changed a lot since I grew up there but it's still fun lots of cool things to do if it's still warm enough you should go to Wreck Beach September if it's warm September is a good time to go to Wreck Beach the tourist you will be a tourist but the main chunk of the tourists have already left from August so it becomes more local uh, and people just getting in as much rays as they can not a troll I respect everything you do you're amazing thanks man full of knowledge watching your YouTube for five years the best ASMR out there so entertaining though awesome awesome glad you like it Void. and glad you're not playing a troll for sure as far as job goes man uh, Void. first of all uh, any employee that requires you to work 96 hours a week unless it's your own job right unless you have your heart and soul in that job right either for yourself or someone else right oops did we lose the connection I hope not see if we lost the connection no it says we're connected let's see check out chat hey chat are we down are we down let's check it out let's check it out are we down are we down oh looks like we're back up again it's still on is it still streaming I lost my connection okay hopefully we didn't lose the connection my connection seems to be going in and out is it yeah I lost mine for a bit <laughs> the crow's going what's going on so let's check this out it's lagging for me but it's on okay my connection should be okay I moved the modem really close to us I haven't hooked it up directly yet Montreal uh, Underground is amazing what I'm gonna do gang I'm gonna stop the stream I'm gonna kick it back in again should we do that bit laggy but still on still here should we I don't know because last time this happened the sound became completely out of sync from the video so I didn't bother uploading the video to YouTube or bit shoot da, 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 da. I wonder if we should do it I'm not 100% sure stop the stream start again just to kick things back on love the city never visited Vancouver but it's on my bucket list in time awesome awesome it's nice to knock off things from the bucket list should we kill the stream I see you no problem okay we keep it going okay no killing the stream good thanks for the feedback and uh, as far as uh, 
the work week I think everyone took uh, it's already been uh, works fine now okay uh, I think everyone uh, people already sort of mentioned if uh, if you're working ridiculous hours now it's all right no problem for me anymore okay okay if the video lags I'll try to sync it just heads up if the video is lagging uh, when I download it and not lagging but the sound is not synced with the uh, with the video uh, I might try to sync it up and if it's too much of a problem this is it <laughs> it won't be uploaded to YouTube or BitChute Ok Ok One how are you doing how's life never really wanted to always went on time in those jobs they weren't jobs where you can leave um, when your shift or shift is over if there's still work to do you had to do it yeah I've, I've done those as well Lloyd I really needed the money to pay a 2018 car bill and I also for the kids of my brother he cannot afford anything school clothes uh, kids whose toys birthday yeah, kids are expensive uh, he is heavy into hard oh that's unfortunate I somewhat overcame soft drug addiction the only way I found that helped is work yeah I feel you it made me a workaholic hence the 40 40 hour jobs okay that's what you're doing uh, void it's okay to do that for a bit okay if you're pulling that uh, for a year or years at a time you're gonna burn out hard right so keep this in mind I've done I've done 100 hour work weeks 90 hour work weeks for multiple weeks in a row or multiple months in a row doing geophysics you have to you have no choice you go into the field you, you, you do what needs to be done right however make sure you're taking extended periods off because you need to ground otherwise you're gonna burn out because uh, addiction to drugs it's not drugs that's the problem it's the addiction that's the problem right because people don't just get it uh, addicted to drugs people get addicted to anything and any type of addiction which is taking away from uh, your life experience right totally encompass in immerses you and affects your relationships your finances your health your social activity and all this jazz right then that becomes a problem that's when an addiction becomes a problem so if you're finding that your work has become an addiction okay that's affecting every aspect of your life and you're not happy change things up okay addiction is the issue so just keep that in mind um, sorry if I'm being uh, free blunt and hardcore about this but uh, I found people move from addiction to addiction and after a couple of decades they're they get into a really bad space okay how's it going I am just just a hologram aren't we all <laughs> or we're we're all plugged in how's it going Chicho last week I graduated and I'm officially out of high school yeah freedom freedom some people feel a little depression when they come out of high school right they don't know what to do with themselves hopefully you're not feeling that uh, hopefully you're doing okay with that if you're willing to do that for your brother I mean you're a hero but we all have limits I learned that the hard way yeah cold hunter 100% do not allow you can give as much as you can but if you can't give anymore man you know other people have to take responsibility for their own lives like Chicho says burnout is a serious thing for us humans big time big time twitching twitching Jason how are you doing twitching Jason I work from home the reason why I can join these streams during the day sometimes sometimes work-life balance can be tricky when you work from home but I work as a software developer and really enjoy it plus I'm only 21 so I figured these are the years I can put my head down and just work yeah and uh, twitching uh, Jason don't forget to enjoy yourself there are things that you can do when you're 21 years old that you cannot do when you get older right there are things that I did when I was 21 
that I wouldn't do now because my body is not as malleable, I guess, and it doesn't heal as fast as it did when it was 21, right? And there's things that, you know, I've grown out of, but I still appreciate that I did when I was a lot younger, right? So, uh, sure, work hard, acquire lots of experiences and lots of knowledge and stuff like this, uh, pay your bills, put some money on the side, invest, learn about what it means to invest, to manage your money, uh, to manage your life, to manage your time and all that jazz. But don't forget to enjoy yourself. There are things really that you can do in your youth that you cannot do as you get older, okay? In your middle age or in your senior years or a little bit past your youth. You have a window of, you know, sometimes depending on whatever it is that you're doing, just a few years that you can appreciate doing certain things. My worst addiction was ASMR videos back in 2002 really cold hunter i od'd so much that i became mostly smr immune oh yeah that's the one thing with addiction right you you try to find the, that kick the original kick that you got when you experience something and chasing that high i guess chasing that buzz chasing that experience feeds the addiction right and sends people spiraling down into a depressed state right? and maybe video games video games video games is huge for a lot of people yeah coping the addiction with another addiction you just made me realize i cope my <laughs> things with work i'm addicted to working which is bad right now because i just traded the addiction you just traded the addiction a lot of people do this right i've done it myself as well right some people can be addicted to work if they like their work it might not burn them out yeah just yeah just love you gotta love your work there's got to be a purpose to your work as well didn't you do martial arts or something uh void uh i think is that for void or myself i did uh, i did a little bit of tai chi meditation my friend showed me i've done some jiu-jitsu uh wrestling just active not so much i never went the hardcore martial arts route i found it too uh, uh, i don't want to because i looked at the karate and stuff and it, it was too militant karate was way too militant uh, i didn't like the hierarchy a lot of uh, old school traditional martial artists were sensei and guru and all these i don't like those titles personally so I never went down the disciplined route. Uh, wrestling is the one that I love the mo most. Yeah, birds are lovely. As soon as the crow moves away from this area, you hear more of the bird sounds. And birds come here, uh, fly around our patio. Speaking of taking care of your body, Chicho, you seem very cautious of how you treat your body eating organic, healthy mind, healthy body, etc. So I was wondering, have you always been so cautious of, or was there something that made you want to uh, suddenly visit where? Uh, good question, uh, Deckman. Uh, no, I wasn't always this cautious. I've given myself food poisoning a few times, eating, eating just garbage, right? Things that I should not be eating. Oh, check this out. Oh, the car turned on and you missed it. There's a cat in our neighborhood which has the wackiest meow sound ever. It is trippy. It's, hopefully he'll come around. He comes around, you hear it every day, right? Mostly every day. Where it's a meow. Like, I can't even do it. It's so trippy. Hopefully you'll hear it. Uh, what was I going off on? The, the food. No, I wasn't two things uh, made me is it lagging void i need one of you crafty devils to make us some t-shirts devil negative i want a smiling chicho wearing a red road hat on the caption choo -choo time. it's fantastic 
was like, uh, what do you call it? Uh, uh, double O negative. George Carlin doing uh, Thomas the Train, right? Uh, absolutely. What's something you recommend uh, the to the twenty-one-year-old Chicho to do more or perhaps less? I drink less. Uh, twitching, Jason. Drink less. Okay. Do more. Uh, go beyond the bubble of a 21 year old uh, acquire friends from different age, age groups including younger as well uh, get into the habit of doing that uh, if you injure yourself seek a physiotherapist uh, earlier rather than later right work your way through injury faster uh, listen to your elders <laughs> <laughs> within reason uh, what else some activity to do if you're gonna go cliff jumping make sure there's a warning we have a video out cliff jumping video what you have to watch out for right um, but if you know how to cliff dive cliff jump uh, do the really high jumps when you're younger because as you get older <laughs> it's become harder <laughs> you don't dare do a gigantic one right? I was wrestling myself such a phenomenal sport practice such a phenomenal sport uh, twitching Jason such a phenomenal sport as far as um, food goes um, who was it that asked that question Deckman uh, the one thing that made me aware of my food intake consumption that made me really aware of my body aside from physical activity and, uh, sports and living and theogens uh, about 20 years ago uh, and theogens basically uh, told me uh, to build a better relationship between uh, my mind my physical body and my surrounding environment my surrounding world right uh, especially with what I was consuming as fuel for uh, for this body to maintain my life so entheogens had a huge role to play in it huge role to play in it plants right? and I started growing plants that's when I uh, really be, you know started working on it getting a green thumb being able to grow plants and stuff like this right so plants was a huge huge part of my life huge part of my life oh did we lose the connection again i think we're losing connections let's check this out we shouldn't be but we are let's check this out now it says it's broadcasting We'll see. Hopefully, there won't be too many lags. Let's check out the chats. We might have lost the connection because we lost a little bit of chat and some people and stuff. We'll see. Hopefully, there won't be too many lags. If there are, I'll uh, try to, for the next stream, this will be our first uh, patio live stream <laughs> where. Uh, it won't be available after the live stream after it's gone off Twitch if it doesn't uh, if the sound and video don't sync up It went down and back up lag time. That's unfortunate I'll get a better setup next time gang. I'll get a better setup next time Don't trust one test run I should have done more test runs, I guess. Do I have any vices in regards to food? Uh, sure, of course. Yeah. Every now and then. I have a sweet tooth. Uh, the stream went offline for me for a bit. But we're back on now. Okay, well, when's the last time we had a video of you outside? Uh, I think it might have been the geophysics one where I where I shot a video of talking about geophysics. 
my chat bar going mad. I thought this out. Okay, let me do this. And sometimes uh, I've noticed uh, we lose connection. Twitch when uh, when we get a wave of trolls coming in or a wave of a whole bunch of people coming in and that might be one thing that's happening we'll see if if this video is cutting out I hope it breaks it up into separate videos that way maybe we can load up uh, parts of the videos parts of the video on you and you too. Let me show you guys uh, some of the plants that we brought over to pot for this season. still going? I think so. Looks like it. I might get serious extensions and just do connect up uh, landline for the next stream that we do. Plant time. Not seen one since 2007. <laughs> And we'll do more for sure. Check this out. These are some uh, little little plants in planters and stuff that we bought um, in the last uh, ten days or so. We've been meaning to repot them and stuff. We've just been busy, right, doing cleanups and stuff. To, let's grow something with Chicho. <laughs> Check this out. Here, I'll show you what we ended up getting. This is cucumber. Now I'm not going to bring it too close because I don't want to, uh, because they're loose at the bottom. I don't want soil to fall down on the computer, the laptop, right? But this is cucumber, tasty jade cucumber, right? Take a look. So we're going to plant this. We've got big, uh, big pots here that we're going to plant stuff. This one you can eat. It gives flowers too. It's really good. Where's the plants you can smoke or bake with? <laughs> it's cannabis day, right? <laughs> These ones you can eat. This is called uh, nastor nastortium. Okay, you can eat the leaves. And it gives like beautiful orange flowers that you can read as well. Okay. Uh, I don't understand why we humans like having plants as pets. I do know one thing for sure. With each passing year, I'm starting to like the idea for myself. Maybe it's just something we all do as we get older. Uh, you know what? I wouldn't refer to them as pets. It's cohabiting. Cohabiting living in a space with plants okay it's like i don't consider having a you know a pet a dog or a cat or whatever in your home is you owning that animal i know legally you do but what it means to me is you're deciding to live with this life form in the same space right uh, for me i like living with plants Terraria, terraria, uh, 
terrarium, terrarium, I don't know, uh, that we're growing, we grabbed a whole bunch of stuff, maybe, I <laughs> will check the names, they come with names, right Casey, uh, to get it to Chicho Matrix, you need a hard line, <laughs> yeah, you need a hard line, I'll set it up next time, I will, plants clear the air in your home, and provides you with oxygen indeed and food and snacks and company and you can and you can use plants as home decoration like design right I have plants that I set in a space that I know they're growing style and I direct them in a certain way rotate them and you see the plants grow and they go towards the light it's good feng shui for me anyway uh, this is cucumelon, cucumber melon mix. Cucum, me and pronouncing names, trying to pronounce plant names now. Cucumelon, okay. I think it's like a cucumber, what, like a melon, like roundish cucumber. Ah, basil, 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 basil. We already have some. We'll grab some more. We're living in a train. <laughs> I'm not cooperating with eight cats and three plants. <laughs> I want to start growing some myself. Starsky, yeah, for sure. This is basil. Basil is amazing. We eat basil. We have basil that we cut the leaves off and we eat. Yeah, I guess. Make you feel more in nature would make sense even for a per. Uh, primal brain standpoint chicho what's the weather today for you looks nice out there fantastic it's supposed to be like 13 14 degrees right now and it's supposed to get up to like i forget what it was 21 22 20. how did they manage to uh mix a cucumber with a melon i don't know i don't know what's this one this is uh Kaladu C A L E N D U L A Calendula. This guy. My partner grabbed a lot of these. She's she knows her herbs and stuff. Uh, for me, I've done a lot of indoor gardening plants and stuff, and she's done a lot of outdoor gardening, growing food and stuff like this. So she grabbed a lot of these. She knows a lot of these things. She wants to manage these. This is. Uh, uh, thai basil, Thai basil, right? Smells amazing, right? All these Latin names give me headaches. <laughs> like this smells amazing. This uh, the Persians eat this a lot as well. Okay, or a style of this. Rosemary, beautiful. We have rosemary outside in the yard that we take our rosemary from, but we want one in the in a big pot as well. That way we can just in the winter time just open up the patio door and just cut some basil or not basil, uh, what do you call it? Rosemary and just use it up, right? What's this guy? Uh, Bebop a bomb. Right. Oh, it's got a little bit of check this out it's got a little bit of the mold growing on the leaves I'm gonna cut these off or it might just be dying but I'm gonna cut them off anyway just to be on the safe side right. you don't want it getting on to the other plants but I think it's just the, the plant dying that's the way it's dying or the leaves let's check it out yeah I'm gonna cut off these two little guys too take care of the plants when you can right and that's one thing we do with plants that if you've ever grown plants um, you'll get a feel for that it's amazing meditation right you start taking care of one plant you you know take off the dead leaves and if you see a bug or two you get rid of the bug or two and sort the soil and then there's another plant beside it so you just go oh boop, and you do this and oh boop, and you move around and then two hours later you realize you just went through your house and or a certain area and cleaned up the plants and everything looks amazing it's it 
slows you down it calms you down it kicks you into a different time state of time fluctuation i guess time being right you're not in a rush because plants don't grow fast according to our lives right if you do time uh, what do you call it time lapse of plants they look vicious sometimes fighting for space how did they manage da, 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 da. flexing flexing it's like 35 degrees Celsius here in Florida with 66% humidity. Yikes! Uh, I should get plants. Void. Void. Get plants. I highly recommend, if I was a therapist, which I'm not, by the way, take everything I say with a grain of salt and some, right? Never take anything I say to heart, you know, all these disclaimers. But if I was a therapist, anybody come to me with addiction, okay? The first advice or prescription I would give them is if they have space that they can live in, start growing plants. If you want to do many things, the benefits are insane, right? Uh, start growing plants. Highly, highly recommend. Knowing how to grow food is one of the most important traits for a human to know. Yeah, couldn't agree more. I always wanted a Japanese peace lily. Oh, I don't know which one that is. Japanese maple, I know. The leaves look like cannabis. Uh, oh, da, da, da. oh boy, we're talking about time. <laughs> yeah, nice. <laughs> this one is Tulsi, right? And uh, I've mentioned before, during the the streams we make tulsi rose tea as well right so we have dry tulsi uh, and persians use tulsi a lot uh, tulsi and uh, rose persians use rose a lot too and a lot of other people as well so we mix tulsi with rose and make tea it's really good very strong very strong a little palm with uh, Collie carps as well. Nice. I hit my clocks for about a week and it was an eye opening. Oh, Raya, did you? Fantastic. Man, when I went that route, it took it took a little bit of time. Uh, a week, sure. And then a couple, and then a month, and then two months. I was like, oh my God. I would never incorporate that in my life again. Like it, it was groundbreaking. want another eye-opening experience just go to bed whenever you are tired and sleep until you wake up yourself <laughs> uh, sticks sticks are our men great advice really uh, and that requires you not to be on a what do you call it on a time clock right nine to five work very uh, very destructive out this one Cilant cilantro no this isn't cilantro this has got the wrong thing in it this is not cilantro this is yarrow okay doesn't smell much I don't know this plant my partner does it's uh, yarrow yarrow just like the barbecue <laughs> martin says <laughs> hilarious casey my friend has a highly addictive personality i got him into running he's far uh to a beast uh obsessed with it but i'm glad it's that rather than something else awesome awesome casey yeah running some runners i've seen man if they don't run uh, they they're they get agitated and stuff like this right that's great advice get people doing something uh, I guess the, the thing is substitute a destructive addiction with a constructive hobby that can become an addiction but at least it's gonna take them a little bit of time to become a destructive addiction and then hopefully they can switch you know introduce other types of more constructive addictions oops uh, but running is amazing he should be thanking you for that Casey big time wait 
hiding clock seems to have really good benefits too. Uh, what would be uh, some key traits of doing that? Avoid um, your internal natural clock will, will start taking over, right? So one of the benefits of hiding clocks is because people are, I've met people like this, they say, oh, it's noon, it's lunch time, oh, it's six, it's dinner time, it's whatever time, right? So once you start hiding that, you're not following some kind of external timeline. You start listening your, to your body and your mind and who you are, and you eat when you're hungry. As uh, Sticks Man, Sticks or Mana says, uh, you sleep when you're tired, you wake up when you're ready to get going, right? Your internal clock kicks in and you start noticing things a lot more. That's one of the first benefits. There are others as well. Okay. You have no idea how much time you're wasting in your life until you stop paying attention to it. The constant worry that comes with clock chasing. Right. Yes. I have a 50 year old bonsai tree. Um, a Japanese maple bonsai. They are gorgeous. Awesome. I haven't done bonsais yet. I have a little I have a booklet on how to grow bonsais. Once my plan personally, uh, Pepe, it, my plan is as soon as I decide or find the space that I want to settle in for a few decades, if I have that <laughs> life left, right, or my last place I want to settle in, I want to start growing bonsais because I don't want to move them. I don't really understand addiction. Well, until some uh, passes me a cider they understand completely <laughs> Martin tell me about wasting time I've wasted 10 years that I can't get back it can't be wasted just wasted because you've had experiences through that as well right watching commercials is a waste of time watching corporate propaganda is a waste of time this is I know this. What is this? Oh, this is strawberry. What am I thinking? Check this out. We've got one strawberry. I'll bring it over from this side so maybe you could see it. Here's one strawberry growing. And this is a strawberry plant that we have right here. Oops, this guy right here. It gives strawberries, but every we've, we've only been able to harvest a few, just a handful of strawberries from this. Half the strawberries we've harvested, half the strawberries whatever animals that have come here have eaten it <laughs> there we go cilantro cilantro got to love cilantro doesn't smell much right now compared to the basil but cilantro i eat a lot of cilantro or we eat a lot of cilantro this is mint should be mint. Oh, it's not the mint. Anais hisop, hisop. Oh, it is mint. Licorice mint. Licorice mint. There's no such thing as cilantro. It's called coriander. <laughs> what? No, Casey. Are you serious? You know me and my recognizing names, so... This is, uh, yeah, licorice mint. And we have some mint, like this guy here is mint that we're growing, I harvest from this. We have mint, peppermint in the yard and all around the neighborhood and stuff, right? So you have this one, what's this one? Every day is a good day. Just try missing one once. Oh, if you miss one, it's over. Sweet marjoram, marjoram? This has a phenomenal smell as well. Sweet marjoram. I mean, like one, one of the other benefits of growing plants, the amazing smells, aromas, scents from plants. Like, wow. Right? It's just, 
like people buy smelling chemical stuff that they spray or leave in their homes so the house smells nice try growing uh, there are certain plants there's certain one plant that I need to get my hands on again that, um, that actually there's a few of them uh, we have a couple here but I don't know their names grow plants that when you brush against them all of a sudden they give off a scent that compare that to detergent smell if you've got smelly detergents or smelly candles or whatever it is like one is toxic smells gross I don't care how natural it is compared to a plant that you can just brush just take your hand and brush it and the aroma it's amazing right hyssop is part of the mint family is that what it is yeah the licorice mint so hyssop must be the latin for casey the, or sorry uh, cold hunter uh, for uh, just general mint branch of family so there must be a whole bunch of them if i remember my uh, latin subdivisions which i don't do you realize this when you get a bit older and look back well, what was the question let's check it out just meaning that when i could have done compared to what i did just oh just meaning what you could have done compared to what you did uh, could have gotten so much more out of the time but you know what uh, is the one thing with wasting time is if you didn't waste that time then you wouldn't know what wasting time was right there's some people that say um, it's like this has come up before right as long as you think you're on the right road as far as I'm concerned that's the way I look at my life I've done a lot of mistakes to wasted a lot of time but where you are right now if you're happy with where you are right now even those times that you're that are cringeworthy that you're embarrassed about that you wish you didn't do or times that you wasted all of those work together to bring you where you are right so we'll never think about it as wasting time you were adjusting you're trying to figure things out just teasing so <laughs> you are just teasing Casey <laughs> confusing Chicho uh, the cilantro is a North American term for it most people call it coriander is it I gotta check my, my partner knows this way better than I do I gotta check you up Casey check on check on that info one of the best smells for the household in my opinion lavender yeah or if you can get your hands on uh, vanilla wow I don't think I've ever grown vanilla what would be a better option than scented candles just wondering plants scented plants hyssop means check this out hyssop means a small bushy aromatic plant of the mint family the bitter minty leaves of which are used in cooking and herbal medicines ah cool cool Hyssop means a small, small bushy aromatic, aromatic plant of the mint family. Okay, do you ever use chemical detergents like with don uh, laundry or avoid it completely? Uh, we do use detergent for laundry, but it's all natural. It's non-scented for sure, non-scented. And it's like soda and uh, just random stuff. Uh, for sure, we do, but it doesn't have any it's the natural stuff and you, we don't use very much like if they say use a cup we use like a quarter right according to dr google hey you never stop learning and evolving in life no cilantro is referring to a fresh stem and leaf coriander uh, coriander is the seeds different taste to both oh i didn't know that that's the difference so cilantro is the stem and the leaves and coriander is the seeds trippy that is cool awesome thanks for, for clarification uh -huh. i'm being serious now coriander is the more common word for the plant cilantro <laughs> is north american is <laughs> okay cool that's not the different 
That's not the di- that's not the difference. Okay, you guys confuse the crap out of Chicho. Cilantro is Spanish for coriander. Cilantro is Spanish for coriander. Okay, um, Martin has confirmed Casey. Okay, I'm gonna check with my partner though. Thanks for the info, Casey. And uh, sticks, ma- stickus. Fun. Let me show you more. Cucumber. Just straight up cucumber, right? So we got two cucumbers. One of them melon cucumber, and this one's like just regular cucumber, like the long ones, not the pickle ones. They sold the pickle ones too, but we didn't grab those ones. These are just eating cucumbers, right? We're a little late getting these things into the ground, by the way, or into our pots, right? Here's parsley, for sure. Cilantro and parsley, two things I use like for cooking a lot like cuckoos we make a lot of these what's this one fight facilia amazing uh, beef forage that's cool my partner knows this I don't cilantro equals coriander holy cow I generally had no idea <laughs> twitching Jason you and me both right but yeah pretty much same shit did you ever grow weed did i ever grow cannabis uh yes yes (laughs) we're in canada it's legal right here's more tulsi we got two tulsis You gotta scratch it to get the smell out. Some of the mints and stuff, you just have to rub them. You don't want to scratch the leaves too much because it damages the leaves, but it does smell nice. Sweet pea, way too late getting these in, but why not? Why not? Sweet pea. Fun. I didn't realize that throwaway joke. I can't see this. It's a great cause such an uproar. You just don't make joke about Coley and the cilantro. Do you plan, um, plan to replant those herbs in larger containers? Yeah, yeah, for sure. We have lots of big pots and stuff here stacked. Like, this, what you see here is most of the stuff that's around all year round right we have a lot of pots and stuff that we bring out and uh, this is how bad i am with names i forget which one's perennial and which one's annual annual i think stays all year round or comes once a year perennial permanent i think so these are all the perennials to a certain degree most of them and then the annuals we're going to put into big pots i got soil here this is like a big bag of soil and we're going to go grab a couple of more soils, organic soils, to put these in and put into the big pots. Did you grow indoor with the aluminum uh, wok and vents and uh, terrarium lights? <laughs> this is more sweet pea. You need good ventilation, brother void you need good ventilation good fans uh, <laughs> sweet tea Ooh. Ooh. Got a sweet pea. Okay, let's put that there. so we got two sweet peas eggs how are you doing It's also known as Chinese parsley. Chinese parsley. Laughing. Calendula. I think we got two of these. Really? Yeah, we got two calendulas. Here's the other one. I don't know this plant. My partner does, though. I think it's edible. I'm pretty sure it's edible. 
first rule in growing weed make sure it don't smell yeah yeah and you have to you have to if you're growing indoors if you're growing indoors you have to also um, have great ventilation so uh, mold you don't get mold right uh, so you don't want to destroy the house uh, you have to close everything off will make you appropriate have great ventilation because you don't want mold glow growing in the house it's legal in Canada I'm gonna go back yeah it's legal in Canada beet steak tomatoes this is the only tomato plant we're growing this year and we should have had him in, in the pot earlier but Either way, it's given off, check this out. It's given off lots of new guys at the bottom. So we'll grow it for as long as we can. It's supposed to be a nice hot summer, so. And the last one we got is borage. Borage. B-O-R-A-G-E. I don't know this plant either. Okay. So we got a whole bunch of gardening to do. We're gonna try to get these in um, to the pots in the next couple of days, I think. Funny thing, in UK, the police use helicopters with head camera that they fly over the houses. Wherever there's a suspicious head spot, they make a visit. Yeah, they used to do that in Canada too. They, there's a place during the drug war, during the Harper era and the Bush era, stuff like this, we had Black Hawk helicopters fly into Canada from the United States to do raids in Canada on people growing cannabis right like like army style go in to a farm and in co collaboration with the DEA that those events that took place during the Harper eras with uh, with the war on drugs was one of the catalysts that really pissed off Canadians to a level that Canada cannabis is now legal it kicked in it brought in basically it's like uh, the Streisand effect right and affecting people's sovereignty Canadian sovereignty where US was basically invading Canada based on US laws and Canadians were Canadian government was saying yeah come and get our, our Canadian city so that was a huge catalyst to get people participating uh, becoming activists to end the war on drugs to end prohibition right and you know 10 15 years down the road uh, 20 years down the road you see the effects where canada is now cannabis is now legal uh, same with certain states in canada and the united states right I learned the hard way that you can't throw a cigarette uh, that's almost finished into so oh yeah you can't do that there's chemicals and other things that could catch fire yeah the you know what cigarettes uh, void uh, if anybody's a smoker smoking cigarettes don't first of all second of all don't throw your cigarette butts around that's littering and you're throwing away poison uh, and especially you know the ones with filters as well those filters filters are not gonna biodegrade and stuff like this it, it's ridiculous if you're gonna smoke if you're gonna do something that whatever it is that you're gonna do don't discard litter uh, create garbage everywhere and I used to work in a cigar shop right Cuban cigar shop where even if you put out a cigar put out a cigarette and it looks not lit right and it doesn't even feel hot if you keep on putting those things in one location they could catch fire right there are forest fires that look like they're out but below the soil the fires are still tinder is still going and they last through the winter and then the next season they start up again right so even cigarette butts or anything that you're smoking if it looks out don't throw it in nature you're gonna start a fire at some point in your life okay uh, don't do that that's 
so true. Ch -ch -ch. Maybe they should do it in the basement. Um, th if that's growing cannabis, a lot of people do. Uh, but the smell goes out. You need ventilation, Martin. Yeah. I will start a petition to change the legal name of cannabis grown in Canada to cannabis. <laughs> I don't know why that <laughs> made me laugh. <laughs> Cigarette filters don't dis uh, disappear. Fish eat them. Birds eat them because they think it's food. Yeah, yeah. Don't discard that crap. Chicho, when is your birthday? Uh, I am a Gemini. Sleepy waves. That's also an option if you have one Ch -ch -ch. saw a friend of mine throw ashtray into his trash can everything caught fire some people say throw it in toilet but again pollution yeah there yeah the, if you throw it in the toilet then that gets into the water supply <laughs> like that that's being flushed some places there they have uh, what do you call it station set up where they're cleaning the water cleaning the water and then they push that back out into nature again right i don't know it, it, to me it's insane i visited montreal like a few days after cannabis was legalized in canada and i generally had no idea yeah it, it for canadians can i think at some point canadians were the highest uh, consumers of cannabis per capita in the world right so for canadians uh, legally it was a pinnacle moment important moment i don't think it's the end all i don't think it's the best it was it was the best solution but it was a step in the right direction right uh, but for most canadians it it was just something that just happened right? yeah basements aren't really a thing in the uk they aren't necessary. Really? Casey? There aren't too many basements in the UK? I didn't know that. In Canada, basements all over the place. Not the best idea either. A lot of basements flood and humid. Uh, moisture gets in there, mold gets in there. Prez, how are you doing? Hey Chicho, out on my back patio here in Texas enjoying some cannabis. Nice. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. Cheers, brother. Salutations from the west coast of Canada to Texas and everywhere else, of course, right? A friend of mine used to uh, grow cannabis. Then one day his roommate's cat decided to eat the plant. Oops. If you really want to smoke tobacco, roll your own cigarettes. Yeah. A lot better for your environment and your wallet. Also, I've grown uh, tobacco before. Okay. Tobacco grows it's pretty abundant the leaves can be very large okay uh, don't plant tobacco and tomatoes beside each other from what I understand what I remember but you can grow tobacco okay and it's illegal to grow and it's legal to grow tobacco and it's legal to harvest tobacco and it's legal to cure your own tobacco right and I've done those right we actually have a tobacco uh, where is it where is it uh, it's somewhere there right <laughs> inside in a jar so I actually grow to have grown tobacco I don't smoke tobacco right but I have friends that uh, like smoking stuff and I've given them some of the tobacco leaves as gifts and it's a great gift to give to someone uh, grow your own tobacco if you want to smoke tobacco grow your own tobacco uh, harvest your own tobacco and cure it dry it uh, it's very strong but I think it's better than what you can buy in cigarette form, right? Do you identify as a socialist or commie? Uh, neither. Uh, why does cat dog goes in and eat weed? Hash. When you go to the bathroom, they never seem to enjoy it. Yet they do it again. <laughs> I don't know. Dogs, dogs eat anything and everything. I don't know too many cats that eat everything or I haven't known too many cats that eat everything dogs man they eat everything it's crazy they munch on everything 
cool. It was still streaming. For some reason, the the problems we had with the streaming, I think, uh, uh, just temporary. Something was going on. You know what? I'd love to grow coffee. That would be a dream. Homegrown, freshly roasted, freshly brewed coffee. It's easy to grow the coffee beans. We've had plants where you grow the coffee beans and they're red beans and they become dark and black. But it's uh, there's a bug on the computer. Uh, but you have to roast them as well, right? So if you're growing your own coffee, it's not just harvesting the beans. You got to harvest them and then dry them or whatever it is you need to do to them and then you gotta smoke them or prep them to get that coffee smell I believe where does nicotine come from I think nicotine is in certain plants right a huge dose of it is in uh, tobacco right does it come from potatoes really Potatoes have nicotine, maybe that's why french fries are so addictive. Really? We gotta look this stuff up, man. If Casey's on it, if he's still here. <laughs> that's the crazy cat. He used to, when we moved in here, he used to come up here all the time and just sit here. This was his domain, and uh, we had a cat. Uh, unfortunately, he passed away. Uh, but we had a cat, and our cat and that cat didn't get along. So slowly, the crazy cat stopped coming up here. But he used to come up here, he just go, meow, meow, like the craziest. Potatoes? <laughs> It's also in tobacco plants. What am I looking for? Sorry. I've got half my brain and something else. Casey, don't worry about it. But th supposedly there's nicotine. Uh, nicotine in, in potatoes. But you don't have to look it up. I was just playing, brother. Uh, anybody that need, wants to look it up can look it up. I might look it up later, right? It's an alkaloid. Nicotine is an alkaloid. Do you have any vegetables growing out on the patio? We're going to be doing some uh, cucumbers and tomatoes. Uh, uh, I planted some potatoes in the past in some of these pots, so there might be potatoes growing. But no, not that I can see right now, but we will be. Just tomatoes and cucumbers and uh, uh, what do you call it? <laughs> also exit in tomatoes oh yeah are tomatoes uh, supposed to be a fruit according to mr. Google you can find nicotine and potatoes and eggplants eggplants too wow we have a pair of cats <laughs> Casey says that's too interesting not to look up <laughs> seriously that's what I'm going with nicotine and potatoes what we have a pair of cats in my neighborhood that absolutely go at it every few minutes they literally sound like little monsters growing out in the dark yeah seriously when cats go at it it's insane it's like traumatizing i'll go for cigs i know it's bad but i don't smoke inside that's the only good part of it i guess holy mother does it smell smells bad yeah cigarettes void if i could give you one advice man stop smoking i'll give you two stop smoking and working so hard <laughs> it's small dosage though in potatoes and tomatoes oh tomatoes as well all members of the nightshade family apparently really have nicotine all members of the nightshade family so some of the plants so datura must have i have a datura here this one here this one here is a datura plant that i planted from seed 
And there's another datura in the bottom that's growing, they're smaller. Uh, so datura, the plant might have it as well. It's small dosage though, in potatoes and tomatoes, da, 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 all members, okay. How's it going, good sir? Silva, how are you doing? I had a good sleep, even if it was a few hours. You only have five hours, I think. I'm gonna spend a fair bit of time today in the patio. I've only ever seen you drink tea. You a fan of coffee? Always my favorite when chilling on the patio in the morning. I, I do love the smell of coffee. And uh, when I start drinking coffee, I do love it, but uh, I'm a type of person that uh, I go extreme, I go, I go pretty hardcore, I try to manage my addictions, uh, and coffee, like with tea, I drink all day, right? Uh, it's not very destructive, my body likes it. With coffee, once I start drinking it, I drink too much, and I get a, a, you know antsy and my body doesn't like it, so in general, I try to stay away from coffee uh, so I do love the flavor but I don't drink too much coffee it's seldom I drink coffee I, I drink Turkish coffee so and that's not every day I drink that with getting together with family and stuff with aunts and grandmother and mother and whatnot right they do lots of Turkish coffee so I drink one of those when I see them right Anybody want coffee? Ooh, coffee, please. Right. Coffee. It clogs your system. Might as well just get some uh, crystals. <laughs> uh, for one, understand, uh, a lot of people drink coffee because it keeps them regular. I think it does the opposite, doesn't it? Tea is much better. Uh, tea is much better. And with tea, one of the things you can do with tea is you don't always have to drink like orange pico or earl grey. You can drink Tulsi rose. You can drink mint so tea is more diverse it's not flavored coffee right it's actually has uh, amazing health qualities depending on what type of tea you're drinking so tea is way more versatile not to mention healthier caffeine is a devil for me i get jumpy same here martin when I drink coffee, when I'm doing, sometimes I pound it back, man, like, uh, you know, I drink two, three, four, five, chaos. Uh, I, I don't do that anymore. I was addicted to sex for cigarettes for a short while, from 17 to 21. Sounds crazy, but it helped me ground myself and de-stress while studying, and then I just quit, which was easy. Awesome, Silva, you're lucky. I know a lot of people uh, who got addicted to cigarettes in their teens and early 20s, some in their st stupidity in the early 30s or late 20s, and said, oh, they're just doing a social, you're not going to get addicted. And a few decades later, they're addicted. Some of them have died of lung cancer. Some of them, their health issues are huge, right? So you're lucky. Never go back to them. Turkish coffee. I need coffee. My normal work working day would be ruined without it. Yeah, Silva, I, I feel you. I used to do that. Oh, so tobacco plants are a genus in the nightshade family. That's the crazy thing, eh? I never knew, Casey. I didn't realize they were a nightshade family. I have, I have the Datura. I believe Datura is a nightshade. For sure it's a nightshade. Like 90% sure it's a nightshade. And I have a couple of other plants here that are nightshades as well. Didn't know tobacco plant is beautiful. It's amazing. And the pods, the seed pods it gives, and the flower of a tobacco plant is beautiful, the large. Tobacco plant has a huge footprint. Uh, not footprint, but requires a big space. It likes space. And I've walked to walk through tobacco fields in Cuba. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> need coffee you're addicted you mean oh <laughs> silva says oh i openly admit i'm completely addicted to coffee silva maybe uh, start questioning your 
work routine if it requires a chemical substance um, to do it gaining anarchism I have a friend he stopped smoking cannabis he met a girl who was smoking cigarettes he's in his early 30s and started just smoking so yeah stupid I tried some Bosnian coffee at a friend's house this week coffee is such a ubiquitous drink worldwide it's fascinating to see how different cultures consume their coffee differently and the different sort of social norms surrounding consumption of coffee not to mention how flavors vary from country to country yeah but the base is always coffee beans right I'm a hot chocolate man I said oh man I love hot chocolate absolutely love hot chocolate I drink too much of that too if I go off on it right so I don't and I like it sweet so Chicho any advice for learning to feel more at ease when experiencing uncomfortable feelings um, for me for sure I've been in those situations and I have and I still get into those situations but one thing uh, you do is or I've done is uh, ask myself why I feel uncomfortable if, if it's a nasty situation where things are being done illegally, violently, morally very questionable, uh, and stuff like this, I walk away, right? Or I say my piece and I walk away, right? Or do whatever I need to and prevent the situation from getting worse, right? But if it's something where I'm uncomfortable because this activity is making me uncomfortable in, in a way that I'm not familiar with it, I ask myself why it's making me uncomfortable, right? Um, so the, the, the question of asking why is so important, so important. And we prevent people from asking why early on, right? Especially in our education system, you know, stop asking why, stop asking questions and all that jazz. The way we grow, the way we learn is by asking why, right? So. If you're feeling uncomfortable ask yourself why it is you're feeling uncomfortable and try to figure that out right sometimes a lot of the times is because of propaganda or programming right like one example I can give you is uh, uh, nudity right I grew up with nudity being all oh, taboo and then I became I started going to new beaches clothing optional beaches and realized that I was uncomfortable at first but then I started asking myself why 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 to a point where I'm like I was an idiot right I dose with coffee every day Casey says I messed with balancing the jitters using I therine I I thinning and still occasionally do but I find the best way to manage the effects are by directly controlling my dose I don't know what that is oh yeah uptime has to be the other way around mark it's got to be the exclamation mark and then uptime I think we're an hour and a half now or so I like your style he says <laughs> Martin says hour and 26 minutes put yourself in those situations that you feel uh, comfortable with and can handle adapt adapt learn grow and walk away walking away is not a bad idea it's more uh, requiring for me to excel at work uh, this is regarding coffee I guess I hate anything less than perfection when it comes to things that I do I love and I obsessed with what I do for work so if I don't have a good day it makes me feel horrible better than using cocaine <laughs> <Casey said> that. <laughs> me up. <laughs> then why, do, why does it require caffeine to accomplish quality with your work if you're naturally enjoying it so sometimes we all need a little boost right like our bodies are chemical processing machines right 
some people are they, I'm not by the way uh, I'm not against caffeine uh, everybody's wired differently right so if you need a dose of caffeine that's fine make sure you're just not overdoing it and realize it's destructive effects right in higher doses anyway as far as I know caffeine in small doses is not a bad thing I mean I make a box in my mind put all the name <laughs> and then close it more screen <laughs> Martin do you throw away the key <laughs> <laughs> you got lots of little boxes. <laughs> I wouldn't say coffee is better than cocaine. It's all about how you use it. Uh oh. Discussion starting on that subject. I've started to do some freelance production assistant work and I don't know very much about it yet. And I'm kind of shy. So admitting I don't know what I'm doing is kind of hard for me. I, that should. I, you should never try to fake that everyone I've worked with though always says ask as many questions as you need no one cares they just want to help yeah and uh, deck man so asking questions asking questions is amazing right and deck man the reason why people say your co-workers say ask as many questions as you want if you're starting a job and stuff like this is because they want you to become independent as quickly as possible and you do not become independent by just doing things you're told you become independent by understanding why you are doing things that you are told right so they're they're helping you out big time by telling you to ask questions right but they're also helping out the production team they're also helping out the work progress because by asking questions you learn much faster than you would if you just observed right uh, and that goes for education high school education as well any type of education I get a superior effect from caffeine than cocaine honestly such a waste of money <laughs> Jeez, <see. laughs> I could take cocaine all night and barely change 200 milligrams caffeine and I'm popping hey Chicho just caught the stream coming out of the gym happy to be here my friend intrepid how are you doing you work out a lot man you do runs and go to the gym and stuff you join the military soon though so you gotta be in shape for that never take away resting time from your brain a tired brain don't need caffeine through that yeah that's huge actually that's a good point hey deck man I work as a freelance cam op in New York City and I let and I let me tell you man people want to help you learn never stand around the crew and wait to be asked to help jump in there yeah Casey itself was laughing Casey I stopped with that one not I stopped I stopped with that not only because of the cost but waking up in the phone booth at, at 11 a.m. the next day after a night out and not being able to figure out which side of the four walls was the door oh my god that's not a good time so what I found that people appreciate your candor and honestly when you're willing to admit you don't know how to do something it goes a long way not an option for me sadly I have mental health issues that stop me from switching off I need to fix that to before stopping caffeine yeah you're your own doctor and Casey, as far as I've seen, brother, you, you're doing it well. You're doing it well. And you avoid the the things that trigger you as well, which is a great thing because that means you know your state of mind and where you are. I hope it gets better. Yeah. On the right track anyway. You're productive. You're, you're not destructive. You're one of the least destructive. You avoid that, I think. Aside from, <laughs> trying to, trying to kickstart, right? The fun. The sun's coming out. It's nice. Well, hitting me here anyway. The plants are loving it, right? And that tree behind us is a gigantic oak tree. Huge. It's a, it's a special type of oak. It's an oak that's, um, 
what do you call it, uh, specifically in our region. We've got a few of these here. They're protected trees here. They're beautiful, but they do drop a lot of leaves in the fall. We've got to clean up the patio. The patio cleanup when the, at the end of fall is pretty heavy here. Had to go in a local Japanese massage place. Oh, Casey, I suffer from mental health too, but, uh, oh, void. Uh, mental health too, but would be your uh, condition. I once go to a psych ward from doing too too many uh, Zanax, Zanax, I guess. Silva had to go into a local Japanese massage place and borrow their company phone to call my brother to pick me up. I went out locally to a bar. I woke up in a phone booth, 14 miles away from home. It was certainly an experience I don't want to go through again. Wow. Was that because of your own choosing, Silva? That doesn't sound like a good time. Good to know. Yeah. I don't know why, man. I'm always just so nervous to approach people. It's just part of growing up. And part of who sometimes you are, right? Your defense mechanisms kick in. Chicho. What do you think of the U.S. citizenship and sustaining of the detention centers? Um, oh, with the immigrations, with the people coming in? Uh, I don't know which part of it. Uh, treating people uh, in that manner, I don't care who they are, is affects you as a society. Uh, as an individual it affects you, but it affects you as a society when you uh, treat others in the manner that they're being treated, right? It dehumanizes everyone that's participating, and that has long-term detrimental effects to a first society, uh, not just an individual, right? So there's going to be huge repercussions of that uh, internally in terms of moral standing of that society goes. Um, blowback, there's going to be straight up blowback from it, uh, both economic and political. But, but I don't know, what else is there to be said? Start with saying hello to people you walk by. Yeah, and smiling. Smiling goes a long ways, man. For some reason, uh, yeah, smiling goes a long way. We'll stay away from the... Don't think too much about what they will think of about you. Yeah. I was on Annex for a bit, uh, but it just made me accept my situation and stop trying to fix it. I tend to be uh, resistant to SSRIs, though. Cool. Thanks, Casey. I didn't catch it, whatever it was. Uh, if I did that in Birmingham, I would get attacked. <laughs> Serious. It's a hard place, eh? Oh, Martin. And you're working in a hard industry, Martin. You're in a bar, man. I spent so long, too long in bars. There's a whole bunch of... You gotta be on your toes, man. Chicho, your posture looks hunched towards your screen. I, I am. I am. Uh, I shouldn't be. I should be sitting like this. I'm trying to read the chat. I should have made these things bigger. What am I doing? I should just make this bigger. Now I'm not going to mess with it now. I forgot to make. That's why I'm doing it. Thanks for pointing that out. I forgot to make the text on the chat bigger. Silly me. Got to take care of the spine. Thank you very much for that sp uh, sleepy waves. I think you need to go to the Wheelstone Raider. You want some wheels? That, that must be a local place. You need to do. Will do. How crazy is it that the people in the U.S. who determine an immigration policy are also invested uh, monetarily in the for-profit detention centers? Yeah. Crazy, Chicho. When would you say you fell in love with math? Uh, when I started teaching it.
natural. Um, I liked math uh, before I knew it was useful. I learned it because I needed it for my work and stuff. Uh, but I really didn't begin to love it until I started answering or trying to answer questions that my students had. And then finding the amazing, amazing beauty of it. It was just blew me away, really. It, the, and, it, and it made me realize how powerful it was. It's just, uh, you had no choice but to fall in love with it, really. Like, uh, it's, for some people that you, you haven't delved into mathematics and the reasons why we do certain things, we, you know, certain things that we do, or why certain, certain things are the way they are, once you see the mathematical perspective of it, you have no choice but to fall in love with it, right? It's like meeting someone and knowing them for a long time and seeing them uh, do something which was which would be considered to be uh, heroic and selfless beyond measure, right? And you just fall in love with that person, right? Math is the same way. Benzo, benzo dial zephin in the SSRI list. Wow. I totally feel you on the stop trying to fix the problem. I always wanted to start uh, Adderalls, but I'm pretty much done with pharma drugs and or illegal drugs. Interesting. I have excellent people skills and I can spot trouble makers easily awesome work that's something you must have tuned worked on right because you probably got into certain situations in your youth that made you go oh my god I'm so glad I came out of that unscathed and unmarked and alive right that's one thing I learned as well uh, just spending a lot of too much time in certain places you have to hone your people skills super fast, otherwise you're not going to be around long. Not sure, Casey says. I'm no chemist. Yeah, ADHD meds really intrigue me as a way to battle my focus issues. I can see myself trying them at some point. What I really need to do is get serious about meditation and see if I can tackle the problem head on instead. Cool. Where I live, people carry uh, Stanleys or box cutters uh, on us. Got to be aware of your surroundings at all times. Wow. Box cutters. Like. This type of stuff. I don't carry this on me all the time. I have it here with some rope and stuff that I wanted to, well, I thought if we didn't have too many people showing up at 7 o'clock in the morning, I would set up the grapevines, do the whole thing, right? I'm going to do it later today. I was in school for business, but I like, uh, but like I mentioned earlier, I now work in tech, which in, involves a good amount of math. I've developed a similar appreciation of math as you described. It really opens up your world. Amazing twitching, Jason. And that's the one thing I try to instill in my students. Uh, if get them get them going on it right away. Right? And it's amazing how many people I've come across that don't have that appreciation, which blows me away. Void says, Casey, I am also out of focus easily. But I saw people pop Addies like candy, and it changed them forever. Saw uh, jaw clenching, fast speaking, and how they even seem more out of focus uh, than in it. Uh, you seem very strong. Go after those problems. Yeah. And good luck, Casey, for sure. More power to you. And we'll always be here, brother. Here, chat. I'm not sure uh, what it takes, but uh, this is a place you can definitely 
release some of your the issues or talk or everybody deals with everything right I used to love algebra while in school but over time I never used it and now if someone puts something like in front of me it's like rocket science now uh, trust me uh, Silva it'll take you five minutes to relearn how to do that right? and by the way you just what you wrote down was the same thing equals the same thing right <laughs> I've just forgotten everything it easy come back this simple stuff easy come back I think you're uh, so Casey I think you're gonna take something anything that you should understand it and stick to the plan record your findings recording is a great idea Casey I did that even for uh, caffeine and theanine if you abuse something something you're asking asking it to abuse you that's a great saying if you abuse something you're asking it to abuse you cool that's a great way of putting it another way to address focus issues is to create an environment with fewer stimuli uh, this usually means spending a time in nature without electronic devices and the clock thing is a huge part of that removing visible clock letting the internal clock kick in kick in which is I think something that meditation is supposed to do too retro great we have door staff and pubs always have a pile of uh, that uh, pile at the end of the night wise words void says to Casey Casey very true Chicho I always appreciate having the space to go to even if I'm not around for a while no worries Casey no worries and I know some of the topics that we do uh, some of the live streams we've done you definitely want to stay away from right and you've done the right thing stay away from them right all humans should uh, find something they really and truly enjoy for me it's carp fishing ah that's cool you go out with a tent tent bed three rods and you spend the night wow very relaxing with or without company really carp fishing that's the way you fish for carp that's like meditation man gardening plants is one of mine I love watching helping things grow right yeah I just put anything uh, I just put anything because I uh, realized there's no way to create an algebraic fraction in twitch and, you know, <laughs> yeah their mathematical code is limited I guess that's cool for me it's reading and snuggling cats cool gaming anarchism that's also nice reading comic books at the beach for me one of the things is taking books or comic books or my note doing work at the beach with friends usually solo I'm usually solo listening to music or just listening to the sounds of the beach I'm more of a dog man he says fun this was a nice fun successful first patio stream other than the first little part we have things cut off hopefully this video I don't want to spend time syncing stuff up you know what I need a vacation uh, Lake District camping walking and taking in nature yeah. in my off time I pretty much only tend to tend, tend to my garden game and research current events read book dude Silva <laughs> uh, I've done the gaming but for me uh, tend to the garden tend to my plants uh, read check news and I uh, what do you call it instead of gaming I do uh, right now anyway there's been times I've done a lot of gaming uh, I do I watch certain videos or go off on a series like marathon a series or something <laughs> I remember in middle school when I uh, or beach and stuff nature for sure I 
remember in middle school when learning geometry there was a period where you studied logic which to 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 this day i absolutely don't understand how logic ties in to geometry pattern recognition maybe and i remember thinking about how used it, it, it was now it's pretty much all i use on a day-to-day -day basis Stud students over time don't care about the things that will be the most appreciated later in life i think yeah a great twitching stream twitching jason twitching stream twitching jason <laughs> hobbies are one of the best ways to keep yourself grounded yeah sane healthy mentally physically uh, hobbies are extremely extremely important our life is a hobby how you live is a hobby any good ways to feed the brain that doesn't include books um, just thinking meditation meditation is an amazing way to feed the brain really uh, meditating just is just straight up meditation or um, uh, meditating on something focusing on something on a task right gardening uh, exercise running uh, building i know spot of tea is not here right now but he builds lego sets that's meditation art you do art you don't need to read books lectures listening watching lectures listening to podcasts Right? Having audiobooks read to you while you're doing chores. It's amazing to feed the brain. And aside from that, entheogens. But that's a tricky, tricky road to go down. One thing I've struggled with uh, is making my activities less solitary, which I could find a book, wish I could find a book club or a current events discussion group. <laughs> <laughs> gaming anarchism that's what we're doing right now i guess <laughs> there should be more of this i agree i recently started reading a twenty thousand word pdf on how mathematics can conclude we're living in a simulation and my god i think i got three migraines combined into into one trying to comprehend the things i was reading fun time to make some food good stream really enjoying the talk today awesome sticks sticks are manan thanks for popping by enjoy the rest of the stream and take care take care and i hope you enjoy your food take care gaming anarchism says i enjoy my hobbies keeps me relaxed i also do uh wing chun to stay fit and focus wing chun is that some kind of uh Tai Chi martial arts Wing Chun Qigong you're so right listening to books wow I haven't thought of that one uh, starting to uh, holy shit you might have changed me <laughs> avoid dog. I, I hope you enjoy it sometimes you have to rewind a little bit or reset it back because your mind goes off it's just like reading so if you're reading sometimes you forget a, a, for me anyway I read and then I read five pages and I forget what I read so I go back right you kick it into automatic mode you'll have you might have to do that with audiobooks as well but highly recommend audiobooks they're amazing I've done a few of them uh, start the, one of the first books I read with audiobook was uh, Siddhartha uh, fantastic read and I had read the teachings of Don Juan the book but I also listened to teachings of Don Juan through audiobook as well so teachings of Don Juan is really good as well for me it's painting and uh, prop making cool it becomes an exercise for yourself uh, trying to get better and teaching yourself new skills is invigorating but at the same time it is essentially meditation cool Kung Fu ah oh, it's Kung Fu Wing Chun is Kung Fu cool Wing Chun is Kung Fu we have a specific Wing Chun school near my local MMA gym. Nice. Nice. And London Martin asks. The 
wind is picking up a little. Hopefully the microphone is not going like this. I don't have a big uh, wind cover for this, not yet anyway, because we haven't done too many of these things outside. All right. Fun stream gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for being here. I have an umbrella set up here. It's spinning a little bit so the wind is picking up. But I have. You guys haven't seen me in my sun hat, have you? <laughs> this is my sun hat. Audiobooks are going to be such a change from paintballing and skateboarding. I already feel less stressed. Nice, nice. Audiobooks. You can definitely put on audiobooks and go skateboarding. Do uh, what do you call that? Uh, circuits. Do the pipes and the turns and the railings and stuff. It's what Bruce Lee first studied, really. Ming, what was it called again? Wing Chun. That's cool. I didn't know that. I have to head out. Thanks for the fun chat, guys. Twitching Jason. Love this way to start the morning. Awesome, awesome. Me too. Fun. Hope you have a fantastic day, brother. Aha, uh -huh, nice. Now we just need to drop you in a 90s English rain. <laughs> You're all set. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Eh? <laughs> oh, fun. <laughs> Badass hat, by the way. Thanks. I love it. Fun. The vibe of my woman. It's only five, five, so it works for me. Cool. It was developed by woman. Really? I know Bruce Lee was quite short. Five, four, five, six. Wing Chun, developed by woman, that's awesome. Black man, not yet. I like to paint frames from movies that I love. I've also got a thing for silhouettes, so I've painted the frame from Empire Strikes Back, wow, with Luke and Vader in the carbon, uh, in the carbon fr uh, freezing chamber. Uh, and Jack Skellington, on the twisted hill in front of the, the moon. I have differently, definitely been interested in miniatures though. Just haven't got around to them. That's cool. Oh, that sounds awesome. Yeah, it does. Used to be heavy into miniatures. Really need to get back into it. Missed this uh, sculpting and working with my hands. Height does nothing. I'm 6'2", yet seems smaller people pack more punch uh, yet seen smaller people pack more punch it's not the size of the dog in the fight but the size of the fight in the dog void hook yeah it takes me right back I want a frosty jacks bucket hat online when I was 18 still have it some Frosty Jacks. I don't know what Frosty Jacks hat is. Bucket hat. Like a bucket hat, like going up like that. Went to cheap cider. Everyone from 16 drinks down the wood with their friends. What? I said, a hat dedicated to cheap cider. Everyone. Everyone from 16 who drinks down the wood. Frosty Jacks at th Thunderbirds. The nectar of the junkies. <laughs> Oh, so it's got some kind of alcoholic drink. Frosty Jacks is on the road. Absolutely nothing beats working with your hands. Such a fantastic feeling uh, to just make something. Yeah, agreed. I'm fast, very fast. Nice. That's a Bruce Lee thing, isn't it, too? As well. Bruce Lee was crazy fast. Nice hat. I want a, I want a floppy hat. Odd Mick, how are you doing? Odd Mick, you pop by. I mentioned you yesterday. Uh, psychic. 
Cycle Pass. The animation you recommended. I'm into season two. I'm into episode number 12. Fantastic series. Thank you for the recommendation. Cycle Pass. Good series. Frosty Jacks is cheap cider that costs like three pounds. When we were younger at school, it all <laughs> we could afford. So we'd leave a bit uh, of our lunch money, but uh, buy it on Friday and go down to the woods with friends to drink it. Dude, Silva, that sounds like on the same level what we used to do in Canada. Uh, but we went with cheap for sure, but we also went with high percentage of alcohol right so old I forget what the beer is called but first of all the drinking spirits was the cheapest way to get the effects right but once we went to beers and stuff old old something it was the highest percent beer so we'd buy that it's the cheapest cider piss water you can get in a three liter bottle wow best times of my life so what sucks did someone mention Slater? <laughs> oh, awesome. I'm so happy you like it. Season 2 isn't as good. Oh, don't tell me that. I hope not. Season 1 was fantastic. But the entire show is awesome. Yeah, and I love the sci-fi feel of it, right? Fantastic. It's, uh, for anyone into sci-fi, it's basically about uh, thought crime. Really. Uh, so... The potential of someone to do harm gets them thrown in jail. Evening, Chitro. Rohan, evening. Just got home from work and finally caught you streaming. Hope all doing well, doing well. Having a great uh, patio live stream. Having a great patio. I showed a whole bunch of plants that we're gonna plant in pots in the next few days. Old Milwaukee. Old Milwaukee, I think this is a US. In Canada, it's old. Oh, I can't remember the name now. It was Glenn's vodka for us. It tasted and smelled like. Cyanoclonic. I don't know if that was But it got you pissed off. We try, we try and put it in our eyes oh my god what's the show a uh, psycho pass it's an animated series psycho dash pass great show we have a thing in the uk in newcastle we call it a tactical whitey which is when you when you're too drunk and can't drink anymore uh, so you plop along beside the pub and make yourself sick so you can continue drinking for the rest of the night. Yeah. Psychopaths. It's an anime. Cool. Thanks for that, Odd Mech. Yeah, vomiting so you can drink more. Cool. All my best nights as a teen included a tactical whitey. Oh my god. The good old finger in the throat, yeah. Things we put ourselves through in youth, eh? Stupid. I'm off. Must be pub time. Must be pub time. Have a great night, Martin. Okay. I think we're gonna call the stream gang. I think the whole thing is on YouTube. Yikes. Don't know the topic. But in your youth in North Sweden, we drank a lot of moonshine, made it ourselves, and got really good, good at it too much work now yeah cyber city no i don't think no i haven't looked for cyber city yet uh, is that an anime oh that's to odd mech cyber city i want to copy that and look it up as soon as we end the stream wait isn't moonshine a redneck thing moonshine just refers to anyone that distills their own alcohol at home right Great stream as always. Hope you have a great day, Chicho. Take care. You too, chat. You too, Silva. Okay, gang. Thank you for being here. In a couple of days, we're... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, we're going to be doing 
da, da, da. what are we doing in a couple of days? Oh yeah, we're going to be reading excerpts from Wilhelm Reich's Mass Psychology of Fascism. Okay, so a day break, reading from Mass Psychology of Fascism, and then on Thursday, comic books. You don't want to miss it. I picked out comic books from the 80s, 90s, 2000, 2010, four small boxes that I'm going to show you and slowly over the next few months I'm going to start putting on eBay to sell okay just to generate more funds and um, pay a little debt that I have and start bringing more funds in so I can buy upgrade my equipment and start kicking things up things up a little notch okay great stream thanks thank you for being here Casey thank you for taking care of business glad I was, I was around for it glad to have you brother it's been a while missed you missed you long life chicho chicho fighters long life chicho fighters i haven't checked it out yet i'm waiting for when i fly back to europe to read it love you chicho thank you void thank you for being here see you soon everyone doop, doop. have a great day hope to see, hope to be here uh, uh earlier next time great stream chicho glad i got catch up first time I could stick around for a whole stream. Awesome. Nice to have you, Dekma. Nice to have you. Okay, gang. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. I'm going to go get my hands dirty. Do some playing around with plants. Okay. Bye for now.